All right, let's watch this Mr. Beast. Five men and five women in the middle of the wilderness. And whichever group survives the longest, but that five will return. I give you all three days. That money's all ours. That is your side of the woods, and that is your side of the woods. And you are not at any point allowed to cross sides, or you'll be disqualified. You should go start prepping for your first night. We out. Maybe I'll be entering your favor. Oh. Men or women, let's see who wins. There's no way that goes up. Hey, bro, my teacher said that she won't. Um, <laughs> We're gonna get our instrument instruments on uh, next week. This I think this Monday. Get prepared, cause when you first start, everything's gonna feel like like whoa, it's going mad fast. But when you pick it up, you're gonna be all good. When you first start, you don't even know. Wait. Yo, hold up. Is Mr. Beast still cool to watch? Like people, he I mean, he's under fire. Like, like, is he still like under fire? Yeah, like people, yeah. people still talk about him? every day. Actually, yeah. yeah, he has a he has a um a guy on his team like as the like the president's company or something. He um takes advantages of people who just turned eighteen and like get, and he turns straight people gay and he on that nigga team. He like 45, 55. Chris? No, well he probably did did do something with Chris, but <laughs> like. Yeah. Carl? No, you don't know him. He's behind the scene. Mm. All right, all right. I'm going to continue watching this video, though. Away on the other side, the girls found oh, a no, I'm just like their camp. The water looks trying pretty to, bad know. right here, so I'm hoping we can call one of my life, and maybe find a clean source to gather from. This is nice. Yeah, this right. might be the spot, you guys. Things might be going smooth now, but compared to all my other videos, this challenge might be the most brutal one that I have ever filmed. I left now. I hate and regret it. It's so hard out here. Mm. I just heard some move in there, bro. I don't think we're alone out here. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, it's hard to watch this. Like, no one, like, yo, half of these people are probably just hack actors or some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if I knew from the get, then all right, cool. But bro was trying to say it was real. Okay, let's check what supplies we have. Fruits, granola, sausage. Dude, you got all the meat. <laughs> I also gave each of them a water bottle and some key survival gear. That's not a lot of food. We're going to have to figure out how long we want to stretch this. Attention, you got... can all of you hear me? We hear you loud and clear. We're all here. I just want to make sure we're like, all on you, the same page on how this like challenge that? works. Is your brain your ass? Interesting. If a person leaves this challenge, they the will still on, get their yeah, share yeah, of the prize bro. money. The only thing that matters is yeah, which team lives in these woods the longest. I don't care, bro. No one ever does. It's up to each of you to decide whether you stay to help your teammates or leave to save them. Tiny girl, follow me around. This entire challenge, you will never know how many men are still left on their side, and the men will have no idea how many women are left on your side. That's a game of strategy. This will be fun. That food goes a lot further for like two people than five. Are we really only going to be able to sustain one or two people? Cross that bridge when we get there. If anybody does quit, I do not hold it against you. I will 100% hold it against you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, after that first. Week, I think it's strategy though. We got strategize. Yeah. 100%. Hey, we're a team, bro. We're making it. We're staying. Girl, thrill, boy, thrill, thrill. <laughs> for the rest of the night, both camps began constructing their shelters to prepare for any upcoming storms. And the guys built theirs out of the first twigs they found. We have a whole TP build and everything. The girls are not doing that. Actually, they are. And they're doing it way better than the boys. And up. We got it. I'm going to try and get a firecraft. Hey! Bet we beat the guys in that. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Let's go! What a freaking start of a journey, boys. Night number one was kind of rough. It took me a long time to go to sleep. Good morning. We need more walls for the TP still. Let's get making our house. I think the girls are doing way better than the boys right now. We are going through the woods because we need water. And to get clean water, the boys had to travel miles through an undrinkable, filthy swamp. I hope the girls have to go through something like this. I'm not gonna lie, you can't see anything in this water. And I do not want to drink some Yo, where are they filming this? What the hell? <laughs> It's day two. And after <laughs> hours of searching, the boys finally found a water source. Finally. By day three, the women had a crazy strategy. Self-eliminate some God of the teammates damn it, so man. those who stay had more food to consume. If we as a we team to want work. to win this, diving into this what? is not sustainable, even for two people. I would like to have two people here at least till the end. I would agree. Yeah. And it was very clear to the whole team who those two girls would be. Phaedra and Julia are our survival mommies, so we kind of are at their people. beck and call to help and do whatever we need. The boys, on the other hand, had absolutely no clue whatsoever. We are definitely not rationing it, like. No. There's no talk of strategy. Server hopping, bro. Five people's a lot of people like not for that food stash. We can't last to the end with five people. Day four, Josh and I were talking about us having to be the providers while they are the Okay, that's Jason Matari. Okay. we're carrying the weight. Just been building, 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 building. 
important for the team. I remember Matthew saying he wanted to fuck with JC. We asked him why. He said that she was too nice. Josh, you gonna tell us if the food was done? JC? Yeah. Hygiene? Did you know the food was done? Bro, food hygiene is terrible. Hey, bro, she don't think now. The boys weren't even a week into the challenge. She was fucking musty as shit, bro. Like, oh my god. It looks like you're chilling like onions. And then we're burning. Of it was bad, bro. And I, I, I mean, thought it was like, yo, your friend fucking so tired about doing backflips and showing Tell her where's some deodorant, bro. So that just let her work whether I really want to do this anymore. While tension was making some Damn, of the boys bro. consider leaving, the women were ready to do the same, but only as part of their strategy. This food load might have to change. It can't change. We're still not getting into rations. It is time to start, as a team, sending people home for the goal of winning. It can't be more than two people touching the rations. Me, personally, I'm out. I'm not going to provide too much to the team. This is Hannah, and I'm ready to leave. We will discreetly evacuate you out of the forest without alerting the boys. Let's do it with a discreet monster truck. We're about to pull up on their camp for the first elimination. I'm going to step away as a team strategy. It makes sense. More food for the other four? Well, let's get you out of here. I love you win it, okay? Their TP the is fire. Winning. I can't You're the fucking win. You're the first out, but you'll get a hundred grand. <laughs> a lot of people have said, okay, I'll just left. Well, Hannah can consider herself lucky because for the next two days, intense rainstorms force both of the teams to stay in Like, where is this happening? That's my question. Like, rations. where are they doing this? We definitely this? can't live off this food for much longer. So come day 10, I decided to throw in a twist. And if you've ever seen one of my videos, you know that means it's time for a challenge. But to make it even more intense, every 10 days, the boys and girls will have to elect a leader to face each other. And we're going to kick things off by visiting the girls. Hey! Hi! It's day 10. What do you think that means? You're going to give us some great news. It depends. Oh. I need you to pick a leader and face one of the boys for a potential prize. I'll meet you at the bridge in an hour, whoever you pick. This is where we take the video up a notch. We choose Phaedra. Let's go see how the boys are doing. Welcome to the men's camp. Oh, you guys look so official. I need you guys to elect a leader that in one hour will meet me at the bridge. Unanimously. Killer P. Man, I feel like I shouldn't be confident. Inside, I feel a little scared. Ooh. Come on in. These walks are so dramatic. Congratulations on surviving 10 days. How's it going? Really well, actually. And remember, they have no idea how many people are still left on they the look clean. team. How many women do you think are still in? There's three. How many men do you think are left? I'm going to say three, too. The it's been like a day, bro. Like, <laughs> at most. They both, they, they, like, they both look clean as shit. They look, both look clean as shit. Wait, what, what he say? I want to say three, two. The funny thing is, both of them are completely wrong. And neither will know the truth until this video is uploaded. This challenge is simple. You're going to take turns firing at that target. And hanging from beneath the target is a bag full of perishable food. If you hit the target, it'll drop it. But if you miss, move it to the other side. She will then get an opportunity to try to win it. I'm so good at archery. I'm definitely second guessing this decision of sending Patrick and not me. Oh, Phaedra is going to kill it. Absolutely. Whatever it lands on, fires Ooh. first. Not in the water! Man. Man. Okay. Oh. Fire away. Shot number one. We're out of here. Have you ever shot an arrow before? I have not. Oh. Oh. All right. Jeez. <laughs> Good. Yeah. First time shooting an arrow? He's oh. Brick First time City. Shooting an arrow. Bro, what happened? Swing at miss. Move the target to the other side. Let's see if the women's team can make it. Whoa, she's taking the jacket off. Oh, it's go time. Phaedra, your team desperately needs nah. to Will you be the one? She's to clean. Bring Nah, brick. Oh shit, she hit it. Wow. What's going on? Dude, that was like watching the Hunger Games. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's go grab it. <laughs> I knew Shoei was gonna win when they sent her, bro. She's clean. Got to a shot of the boys. They're struggling. Yeah. So y'all need to eat a lot and quickly. I've noticed she keeps saying. Yo, that that one guy pissed off. So, <laughs> we had to dip into our rations after the rain. And looking at this, this is primarily perishable. So although it adds for a while, it's not going to add long term. And so we had the conversation that I would go. You think about leaving right now? Yes. Conveniently, I'm already here. You just want to hitch a ride back? Yeah, no. <laughs> and so with a toast of feastables and hugs to say goodbye. Bye, divas! We'll see you on the outside. The women's team was down to just three survivors. While the yeah, what? In the total drama island, bro? Holy shit. This entire challenge for her. I do too. And Hannah. With plenty of food and one less person to split it with, the girls' morale 
morale was through the roof. I'm feeling really good, really optimistic. We've been really pushing ourselves hard, so to be able to have this meal is going to mean a lot. Cheers, guys. Mm, delicious. However, losing the challenge took a real toll on TJ. I'm beating myself up pretty badly about the archery competition. Everyone thought it should have been me. Unanimously, killer P. Killer P? I should have stepped up when I had the chance. But when I was sitting on that chair and I saw the bows and arrows, I just thought, it should have been me. The next challenge will be me. The girls enjoyed their abundance of food for the next few days. Cheers. The boys, unfortunately, had to still catch their food. Let's go, baby. No! No way! With their rations running dangerously low at this point, the boys see... We got salt, pepper, ketchup left. Bro, Cam, I'm, I'm so done. glad that I got you here, bro. I know I may seem sluggish and stuff, but this is all mental. Like, I have nothing in me. The pressure had really started to get to Cameron. And while Sammy tried to lift his spirits a little, by the morning of day 13, he had already made up his mind. The sleep deprivation is, is taking this toll. I set my breaking point. I'm proud of you, bro. Hold it down, man. I appreciate the journey, man. I can. Damn, that bro's out. Bummer. Losing Cam today. How was today for a dark day? But the boys weren't the only ones taking a loss. Today is Kelly's day. We're going to miss her very much. Here we are. While the girls were leaving strategically with half a million dollars in mind, the oh, boys damn, she the out? Hand, were leaving from the difficulty. I'm so defeated. I'm grateful for this. It's just... This is freaking tough. Just had a breakdown, bro. I'm surprised they're even still in this shit. Oh, no. It's about to break me, bro. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. Me hope. So after draining his remaining calories upgrading their shelter, the boys went to bed and made the radio call in the morning. What up, boys? I got a message on the walkie. That's going to have to be mine to explain, Jimmy. I'm not going to be the big macho man and say this isn't hard. All right, everyone. Let's walk him out of the challenge. Come on. Leaving the boys' camp for the last time, Sammy gave the guys a parting gift. You want the t-shirt? I'll take the t-shirt. The literal clothes on his pack. Let's get those shirts. Now that you've taken everything from this man, is he free to go? <laughs> he's free to go. He is now in the Sherpa, which means he is officially eliminated. Carl, get Dang, him out of here. out of here. Three. Is the trend going to continue? Two days from now, we're going to be at one? Absolutely not. Just two weeks into the challenge, I think he's carrying him. He looks like he's done. He looks like he's tired. He, 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 he don't fall with him. My first thought was jealousy. I don't know if I can make it to the end. With Josh already on the verge of quitting, things got even harder. We've been on the verge since like day two. In. Oh, oh, oh. It's raining right here. Unlike the girls who can sleep soundly in their well built shelter, back at the boys' camp, their home was not equipped to handle all this rain. This is not how they I had want to put like to some the leaves and shit. The downpours continued for the next two days. My raincoat had drenched through, and my whole belly was soaking wet in my waders, and my pants were soaking wet. I was like ready to quit. The rain has finally cleared up, and Mama Phaedra is making us some little breakfast this morning. We got a little beef stew. It's delicious. I bet the boys aren't enjoying a happy meal. I bet they're not. Bad news ran into my worst enemy. Poison ivy. It's spreading everywhere and unbearably painful. I start wondering. I've never had poison ivy. I don't know if it's bad. Bro's bug it out. Better spot than the guys. Has to be right. Not a lot of people can take this for a long amount of time. Hey guys, we need to talk. The things I wanted to do, I definitely did. And at some point, there is just the need to get out. The selfish part of me says, "You quit, I get a bigger meal." <sighs> Hey, this is Josh at Men's Camp. I think I am ready to go today. And just like that, Josh was out. Bro, they Josh? had nothing but oh, Josh. Let's, go, Carl. Let's hit the road. I'm going to no. say this, like, honestly, I believe 100% we just got stronger. We have enough food to last us as long as He looks as like possible. he, I think he can, he, he gives nature, bro. He gives Plus nature. All the challenges. That's a pretty bold statement. So let's put that They got to win the, the they got what honestly win a challenge. Friday. Yo, my goat right here, Chandler. Day 20, which means it's time for our second challenge. Alert, alert. Pick a captain and send them to the bridge. Easy work. All right, I'll see you in a minute, okay? Sounds good. I'm going to show her that no matter what, she will never win. Since both of you didn't come last time, I need to make it clear. If you step across the middle, you're eliminated. Which may affect your team's chances of winning $500,000. Chandler, can you give me something to mark the middle? 
Okay, we'll yes. put it back. Yeah, there we go. What in a Minecraft Hello. block? Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. My team and I are offering you and whoever's still at camp $50,000 if your team quits right now. Oh. Sounds like you might be scared that you might not make it to the 500K. Anyone else feel the tension here? Woo. We'll see in day 33 when it's all over. You're only giving yourself till day 33? I'm giving you till day 33. Okay. Whoa. You guys are being as nice as possible. Also talking so much smack at the same time. <laughs> well, let's bring it together. So, because this they want each are other. That's the tension. In this challenge, you're going to be competing for your own ginormous tent. The guys the need that. The guys the need that. In, so Bad. Be clutch. Would you want something like this? I mean, I'll take it. But if the guys get this taste of comfort, maybe they'll leave. Or it can make them last longer. Doubt it. Oh, this is very nice. It's decision time. Yo, so if only Josh was still there, bro. If they just Last so day twenty. Nah, they weren't gonna last till day twenty. But damn, they needed that. Teams could win a tent. I'm gonna be in that tent. They would sit really <laughs> nicely right there. All you have to do is eliminate yourself. Ooh. If Julia does take this, we won't have one more night together. That'll be hard. Since the women won the first challenge, I need you to make your decision first. Oh, no, come on, Julia. Do you want to eliminate yourself so your team can have that tent? No, don't. She's not gonna, gonna do it. I'm gonna take the tent. <gasps> oh, okay. So it looks like I am now officially by myself. I honestly can't believe wow. you took that. Now it's your turn. Which is more important, you or that tent? Nah, he's not gonna take it. Right, he's not gonna take it. Team. Thanks for coming out. Because the other guy is not surviving wait, wait, by himself. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, what are you talking about? Wait, you are not surviving by yourself. You're going to have that tent and you're going to... That's it. It would really be huge for the overall strategy and, and the win. But um, I thought I was actually going to get a chance to give her a hug goodbye. This isn't 100% rainproof. That could really end the competition. My whole mood has just changed. Back at the what bridge. are you talking about, bros? While Phaedra was gathering her new tent, TJ secretly stayed behind to investigate. Wait, no way. And what he found was like striking gold. It's weird send only one person to pick up that tent. Now I know there's only one woman left. She will not outlast the two of us. I gotta tell Pat. Pat Yo, he's smart Patrick, for that. are you awake? I spied on them. And it's one person left, the person that you win against on that first challenge. And we have two, less food, less shelter. Now that you say it like that, I feel like I made the wrong decision. Would you have preferred the tent or me? The tent. Unfortunately. This guy's a jackass, bro. What are you talking about? You were not, bro. Literally, like, if he got the tent, he would get comfortable and then be like, damn, I can't do shit. Leave. Boom. For I guarantee. The intel he gathered at the bridge seemed to only make matters more tense for the boys. He turned down dry shelter to come back. What kind of brother would do that? What do you mean? So then y'all can help each other. The morale, like being alone by yourself is horrible. DJ, horrible. The tent, it would have sealed the deal. Because we all know shelter is everything. And at the then make camp, a better shelter, bro. officially carrying the team. Setting up her brand new tent in just a few hours. Look at that. <laughs> it's awesome. Just in case people are wondering who's going to win this. Nice and cool in here. Yo, no this bugs. guy a dumbass, bro. There I swear. More room than I know what to do with in here. While Phaedra had more that room, fire, the boys, on the other hand, were betting on each other to get themselves to that half a million dollar prize. You may have that tent, but you're all alone. Us here at the guys camp, we still got two, so we could always be socializing. And by challenge three, she's going to want to leave. For sure bro bro he's like for sure bro like bro such a jackass i hate this guy being around julia having such a lovely human to interact with got me spoiled honestly but it wasn't just camaraderie that was keeping the boys going about to go crawl dad hunting this is where killer pack comes in need to get some food living off the land was going much better than expected there we go and that's a snapping turtle right there but while the boys yo driving Phaedra bro the fact that they caught a snapping turtle is kind of crazy don't those motherfuckers like they bite you like you your hand's gone or some shit. In a dark place. I do miss See, look. having some physical contact with people and like being able to give somebody a hug or just like even a handshake or a high five would do. <laughs> nah, I'm, like I'm not gonna lie, I start feeling mad lonely just one day by myself, you know what I mean? How about a high five? Like in the woods? Um, at like, this point, Phaedra you got no phone, no technology, no book or no nothing, maybe something to draw on. 
literally began talking to herself out of loneliness. However, the boys' bond was continuing to grow. Dang, dude, that's as big as you. Look at the size of that thing. Dude, that's literally five and a half feet long. Sorry, six foot five. <laughs> I'm so excited for challenge day right now. I'm hoping that we just go ahead and win. I'm ready to go home with my family. I'm ready for this to be over. We're going to see how challenge three goes. With TJ's and Patrick's bond having grown stronger than ever, I knew exactly how to test them on the day 30 challenge. Are you going to be the captain? I was asking around, but nobody else was here. <laughs> By default, I'm the captain. How she went 10 days on herself is crazy work. 10 days by herself is crazy. You did day 10. I don't know how 20. she did it. Who's going to be the day 30 captain? Patrick. Let's go. Go get that dub. All right, this time we painted a line instead of using a plant. It's been a while since you saw each other. I'm really surprised to see you here, actually. Whoa. Yeah. Are you too ready to hear the challenge? Yo, yeah. she's talking that so, shit. Here's the deal. We have the families of every oh. single she contestant battled, still in this challenge on the other side of the woods. And you guys have a choice to make. You can oh, see Oh, she looked like she finna fold. He might fold. Can see their family. You know, I do have a son that I would really like to see. <gasps> so, um, I, I'm going to choose myself. Phaedra could have just tricked Patrick into thinking she's not the only woman left. How about you? Are you picking your camp or yourself as well? I got to see my kids. I choose myself too. Okay. The decisions have been made. Load the helicopters and fly them out. Good to see you. Wait, like choosing to see your, your family means like. Wait, wait, wait. I don't get. Well, no, 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 because. What? Oh, no, no. Never mind. I get it. She, the way she did it was really well. Hey, beautiful. I miss my mom and I really missed my son. My family is the main reason why I was out here and the reason why I'm still standing here. My time has just been reset. I'll see y'all in 10 days. Oh, bro's probably mad. I'm just gonna sit here and just feel sad. I haven't felt like the best today. I've had some time to reflect on the last challenge. I'm super grateful for that experience and for having him Damn, they were hanging for a long time. Lincoln, I really wanna go home. I'm not going anywhere. I was a little mm. bit worried when Pat got to see his family. I'm locked and loaded for challenge four. But it just lit a fire underneath him to say, I'm going to win this. Obviously, I've got to this point because of me trusting another person. This right here is about to prove how important a strong and good friendship is. Yo, you know what? He turned around. He turned it around. He turned around. They can win this. Having someone by your side can ward off the boredom. Being alone also does have its perks. I don't even know if I can eat this all. I literally have more food than I can eat out here. I'm not going anywhere in men's camp. <laughs> and so it was the battle of rations versus companionship. That was until the night came, and the men's camp got a surprise visit from an uninvited guest. What is that? There's something out there. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Stay still. I mean, it's just probably a black bear or came, something. TJ set out to investigate what exactly that noise was. By yeah, himself? That's definitely from a bear claw. Verified by our trail cam, a bear came up right behind the men's shelter, which would be enough to scare any sane person. Last night, a bear came through camp. Awesome. And although Patrick was feeling confident about staying yesterday, I'm not going anywhere. This close encounter had him thinking otherwise today. Having just seen my family, that bear got me realizing, like, I don't do outdoors. It's like breaking news. I'm a DJ. Yo, TJ, <gasps> we got to talk about something. Yeah, what's up? Me and CJ were just speaking. The rations would make more sense if I leave so that TJ can finish this. Him saying to me, I trust you and I'm going to leave is huge. Yes, for this is... Um, he's going to be fine. Please, let me grab this talking. This is Patrick at Man's Camp. I am... Bro. What? <laughs> what is bro doing? On my way. And what? since I have Logan Paul and KSI with me, I guess I'll bring him along too. Dude, this is gorgeous. If you're gonna survive in the wilderness, this is like the environment to do it. Bro, how do you know where anything is? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh no, I just saw a little fly. Uh -oh. Yo, Patrick, I got the call that you wanted to go. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him. 
with the most amount of food. Can I see how much food you have left? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Come over to our pantry. Now that he's leaving, how long do you think this food will last you? This will get me to day 60, challenge six. How long do you think the girl or girls have left? By challenge five, it's gonna be over. No shot. She already has 13 days in isolation, and I'm just starting at one. We have the advantage. I am alone! So with both camps, he's gonna lose it, to bro. These Mr. Beast videos, you know, uh, they refilm and refilm until you know, the girls win. You know how it is. You know, they, you know that you know, that bear was a paid actor, bro. Was hunting them to keep as pets. Little Princess Shirley. Neither TJ or Phaedra were showing any signs of giving up, which brought them all the way to day 40, also known as another challenge. Welcome back. It's been 10 days. Hi. Dude, it's awesome that you spent this time alone, but how do you logically plan to beat me? Because we have enough rations to last us 80 days, so I don't have responsibilities back home. And then on top of that, we're having fun at camp. There's nothing to do. I don't like to get ahead of myself and be like, yeah, I've got 90 days, I've got this in the bag, because like when you start to get arrogant. But in 20 days, 30 days, do you really want to be here? What about Lincoln? <gasps> I don't really think you should He's striking a nerve, yo! Use people's children's names as weapons against them. That's not appropriate. I will use whatever weapon I can. It's getting intense. How you decide to treat me has no factor on how long I decide to stay out here. Likewise. Well, time for our day 40 challenge. Both of you yo, will be presented doing. with a survival item. If you want it, then simply write it down on your board and you'll keep it. However, if both of you write it down, neither of you will get it. That means that you'll have to try to convince each other to actually let you keep an item. And for our first item, we have a fishing pole and all the bait you could ever need. Can one of you give up an item without guaranteed receiving something in return? They both wrote fishing rod. We're not off to a good start. Our next item is dude wipes. Who helped me pay for the video? Dude wipes are flush. Fuck dude wipes. I've never seen that anywhere up here. Actually, speaking of dude wipes, hold up. And you know this shit's a South Carolina thing or South thing. These shits are fucking trash, bro. These shits are trash. Literally, I went to South Carolina like two, three months ago. Like, I, my dad put them in the bag. He didn't even want it. He didn't even want it. Like, he put it in my bag, sent it back to back with me to Jersey, bro. This shit is ass, bro. It does not clean your ass right, bro. It doesn't clean it right. There's better. There's better ones, man. There's better ones. Like I don't care that it's 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 flushable, bro. Like who who cares? It just means it ain't gonna clean it right. It literally just feels like a toilet paper that's wet. Like regular to uh, baby wipes don't feel like that, man. It don't. Based don't materials and water. Oh, very refreshing. It's time for what might be the most important vote of your life. Not only are they better than toilet paper, but dude wipes also work well for showering, which these two could use. He wrote dude wipes, and she wrote fishing pole. Whoa! Congratulations. Here you go. Woo! I got dude wipes. Item number three is more dude wipes. Because they're the sponsor of the video. What do you think of the dude wipe? I mean, it's working. Yeah, it's working amazing. It's time to vote. Did you write anything? He did not. All right, here's your dude wipe. <laughs> and if you want to be like these two and try dude wipes for yourself, just go to Walmart, Amazon, or basically anywhere you shop at. They sell them there. Some Bro, I'm telling you, they're so trash. Here. I'm telling That's you, they're losers. so trash. The I mean, shout out, after shout out to like, them. I don't know, point, bro, but I, I, I don't like it. it for their team. But thanks to the girls' strategy of intentionally eliminating most of their team early, they on, eliminated their team too early. About food at all. Is that popcorn? How much gas you have in the tank? And truly, my answer is until they decide they don't want to be here anymore. As the days pass, TJ was getting more confident he would win it for the boys. I'm just so set on this ending, Challenge Five. I'll be heavily surprised if this goes past Challenge Five. Everything in my heart, soul, mind is saying Challenge Five. Even though it's come down no. to one. He can't go past Challenge 5. That's what he's been saying, Challenge 5, bro. He, Both TJ he don't want to do it. Are fighting to win their team this $500,000. He don't want to do and it, bro. TJ, a victory couldn't come soon enough. I'm going to have a Because he wants to leave. Of he's tired. Just make sure that I'm going to have a fantastic winning day of day 50. And now it is time to put all that talk to the what test. What do you mean? Like, bro, is he going to fight or something? Challenge will really be in TJ's Why is that night? Come on in. Come on in. I guess he's like... I couldn't make day 50 because I'm currently spending seven days in a cave. So I'm hologramming in. Oh, I didn't see that. It's pretty brutal, not gonna lie. You guys haven't seen each other in a while. You wanna talk? 
Oh, she don't All fuck right. with him. What do you two think the day 50 challenge My go is? I have no idea. I see a container that says supplies on it. For day 50, we're gonna She's cute, man. And you both get feastable. Oh, yeah! Well, little did they know, there was a twist coming. You each get a multi-pack of chocolate. That's so nice! Get in here! Feastables are available at Walmart, Albertsons, and Kroger's nationwide. Go buy Feastables and see if you like the taste. That's it. You can go back to your camps. Enjoy your chocolate or save it. Yay! See you on day 60. Are they far away? Yeah. It's okay. laxatives. What they don't know, Chandler, is inside one of those chocolate bars is a message that tells them to come back to the middle to get three days worth of food. You show the viewers the food. Let's see who finds the message first and wins that food. I'll see you in a couple days, Chandler. I love you. Wait. Say it back. He didn't say it. <laughs> Challenge five. We finally got our feastables. These are chocolate. Chocolate will melt. So I need to find the best way to store these. I think I might just open another one, because honestly, I know that seems excessive, but it's my win. Have one square after every meal. That should last me throughout the rest of the competition. My mental health right now after challenge five is through the roof. While TJ was feeling confident, he was so strict on rationing that he barely made a dent in the feast. I feel like I'm better rationing my chocolate, because that's a better commodity. So I know I have to save it. And save it, he did. TJ went the next three days without touching a single piece of chocolate. Then, Damn. on day 57, he found his favorite flavor. Our peanut butter feastable. Whoa, wait, what? There's something on the back. If you are reading this, there is three days worth of food on the bridge for the first person to grab it. Good luck. Feastable, you'll have to wait. Let's go. Three days worth of food is so much. Let's go. Did she grab it? I, she, I think she grabbed it. A man victory. Place nah, he be. just went there. She it's grabbed it, like, it. days ago. Dang. Phaedra actually beat out TJ because just four days ago, this happened. Three days worth of food. Oh, sh. It's still here, people. Wow, you guys. Feels really good to win this. Dang. Phaedra's not even here to gloat about it. I just feel so sad now. I ran for nothing. Feels like I've been here for nothing. If TJ I wouldn't have even ran, bro. Like, the thing is, like, what are the chances that you both see it at the same time? Like, I wouldn't have ran. That feeling could quickly become a reality. One of these contestants will win their team $500,000, while the other will have spent months in the wilderness and potentially go home with nothing. I can't live off the land because it'll take too many calories, and it's not even a guarantee every day. Uh, we just killed the last of our egg scramble. It has been difficult for me to be alone out here. Every day is hard and it's kind of taking its toll on me. It is night 59. I will run out of rations tomorrow. I am praying that the prize for tomorrow is more rations. I don't want to give up just yet. It's time for the day 60 challenge. So you guys met on day 40. Day 50, and once again on day 60, I don't know, man. it's the two of you. I don't know. How was the three days of extra rations? I was going to ask you, how was your candy bars? <laughs> yeah, how are you feeling? You got 10 days left in you? Oh, I got 10 days left in me. He don't. The day 60 challenge is simple. Both of you will write down anything you want. You'll then show each other what you wrote. And if you approve of each other's items, you can have both of them. But if just one of you says no, you both get nothing. You can ask for a lot, and there's a high chance she says no, or you can ask for a little and potentially get it. Do you have what you want written down? I do. Do you have what you want written down? Yes. Three, two, one, reveal. Phaedra wants an art kit, and TJ wants a private chef for seven days, two meals a day, fully equipped with spices and food. <laughs> do you approve her getting an art kit? Oh, yeah. TJ <laughs> approves getting an art kit. So, so nice. <laughs> Seven days, two meals a day with spices. I will run out of rations tomorrow. Nah. She's saying no. Oh man, I would love to, but I can't. I'm gonna have to say no on that. Okay. What? Oh, you were that too greedy. Little... That was day 60. You're free Bro, to talk private as chef. Good luck is... in the next 10 days. See you day 70? Yeah. All right. All right, bye. See ya. For me, the physical aspects of things out here are not the problem, it's the mental things. There goes that idea. <laughs> I had everyone's hopes and dreams on my back. I think I'm gonna have to put that stone down. I wanna go home so badly. I've just been out here for so long. Is she going? I just received a radio call saying someone wanted to leave. The person leaving is waiting in the vehicle. Bring out the team! Each contestant here is about to find out if their team just won half a million dollars. Will it be the men 
or the women. It's the, the women contestant one. who forfeited will now reveal themselves. Uh, I, I wouldn't even. The boys lost and the girls won. <laughs> I knew it, bro. Like, and on day 60, it's like he, he ran out of rations, bro. So we're gonna give each of you 10 but I don't get how he ran out of it. Like, I thought he had, like, a good amount of rations. Phaedra is still alone at the girls' camp and has no idea she's just won. <sighs> Phaedra, are you here? You're back. Yeah, come with me real quick. I found this backpack and I was curious if it was it yours. Might be. Uh, that was actually a lot. You just won. <laughs> you did it. Bro, two I months? Guys, I thought you guys every day. You did it though. Yeah. <laughs> You're done. You did it. You all just won a hundred thousand dollars each. Maybe next time, boys. We did. <laughs> Bro, how? Yo, I'm telling you, bro. It, 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 that's that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes, bro. It's rigged. It's rigged. 